Hi, hi, my name is Jose De La Torre. This is my project One City Trademark Redesign. For my city, I picked Akron, Ohio. Akron was founded in 1825, no, known for being a canal town, and it was then chartered in 1865 as an actual city. Um, its name is Greek and roughly translates to highest point. It became known as the rubber capital of the world with BF Goodridge opening up factories to manufacture rubber goods. Goodyear would continue to grow in Akron, open its facilities to build its famous yellow and blue blimps. Um, it's a city that prides itself on collaboration, inclusivity, and civic engagement. They continually practice these ideals, earning itself the title of All-American City, awarded by the National Civic League. In this image right here, we have some of the places located in Akron, Ohio. like the Stan Hewitt Hall. This is uh, B.F. Goodridge's um, founder, basically. This is the All-American Bridge. It starts as uh, two separate lanes of opposite traffic and it splits into two. And then lastly, Here's the skyline. All right, so let's move on to the comparison. Up here on the top is my logo redesign and on the bottom is the current logo. All right. So the original logo was basically a copy paste of uh, the All-American City award. It's this crest and they just placed Akron in the middle. The three years on the bottom are the years that it won All-American City. It's pretty simple. It's kind of lame that they just copied something else. Um, and now we'll get into my logo. So here's this trademark style sheet showing off basically the colors I used and the typeface I use. Kept it really simple. This logo is meant to be seen by the city of Akron, Ohio and its tourists. It's something that'll stand out against the lush green that surrounds it and pop in the city. The logo's main focal point is the text in the is um, at the visual center of the piece, which is the Akron right here. The Akron is written in the typeface Pragmatic of Black. I chose this typeface because it's bold and structured like the buildings surrounding the downtown district of Akron. The type is also slanted and rising from left to right. This helps guide the viewer's eyes steadily up the rest of the mark. Surrounding the Akron, we have the two blimp, the two pieces of the blimp that encompass the type. These two are extending from left to right, basically soaring like a blimp, kind of tying back to that highest point translation of Akron. The blimp is broken into two sections, the front and the back. Um, this, this allows some negative space for the viewer's eyes to flow in and out of the design. Because Akron does pride themselves on being known as an all-American city, I kept the blue and red, but I chose a slightly brighter tint. So that way it's a lot friendlier and still keeps that patriotic feel. Let's see. I did use the red for the fin at the top, the text and the cockpit. This allows there to be some type of rid um, visual rhythm happening from your eyes going from here to the text down into the cockpit. And then I use the blue for the two curves. So that way your eye will go up and around and then back down into the piece, kind of creating this visual unity. All right, and lastly, these are my design implementations. Here's kind of how I would use it in an ad. It is all white, using this nice little circular piece surrounding it, kind of a variant of the design.
Here's some merge markup mock-up. Looks really clean. And then lastly, here's just kind of like an idea of what I guess the buses would look like if they were to implement this this, this design. That's basically it for my presentation. Thank you for listening. Hope you liked it. Hope to hear your critiques in the bottom of the chat.